Deuteronomy 3. Next we turned and went up along the road towards Bashan. And Og, king of Bashan, with his whole army, marched out to meet us in battle at Edrim. The Lord said to me, Do not be afraid of him, for I have handed him over to you with his whole army and his land. Do to him what you did to Sion, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon. So the Lord our God also gave into our hands Og, king of Bashan, and all his army. We struck them down, leaving no survivors. At that time, we took all his cities. There was not one of the 60 cities that we did not take from them. The whole region of Argob, King, er, Og's kingdom in Bashan. All the cities were fortified with high walls and with gates and bars, and there were also a great many unwalled villages. We completely destroyed them as we had done with Sion, king of Heshbon. Destroying every city, men, women, and children, but all the livestock and the plunder from their cities were we carried off for ourselves. So at that time, we took from these two kings of the Amorites the territory east of the Jordan from the Aaron Gorge as far as Mount Herman. Herman is called Siren by the Sid Sidonians, Sidonians. The Amorites call it Seir. We took all the towns on the plateau and all Gilead and all ba Bashan. As far as Selka and Edri, towns of Og's kingdom in Bashan. Only Og, king of Bashan, was left of the remnant of the Rephites. His bed was made with iron and was more than 13 feet long and 6 feet wide. It is still in Rabbah of the Ammonites. Of the land that we took over at that time, I gave the Reubenites and the Gadites the, the territory north of Ar or by Aaron Gord, Gorge including half the hill country of Gilead, together with its towns. The rest of Gilead and also all of Bashan, the kingdom of Og, I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh. The whole region of Argob in Bashan used to be known as a land of the Rephites. Jer, the descendant of Manasseh, took the whole region of Argob as far as the border of the Gersherites and the Mekethites. It was named after him so that to this day, ba Bashan is called Havoth Jer. I 
And I gave Glee to Mecker. But the but to the Reubenites and to the Gadites, I gave the territory extending from Galee down to the Aaron Gorge. The middle of the gorge being the border. And out to the Abak River, which is the border of the Armor, uh, Amorites. Its western border was the Jordan and the Arab. From Kirith to the Sea of the Arab, the Salt Sea, below the slopes of Pis Pisgah. I commanded you to, at that time, I commanded you at that time, the Lord your God has given you this land to take possession of it. But all your able-bodied men armed for battle must cross over ahead of your brother Israelites. However, your wives, your children, and your livestock, I know you have much livestock, may stay in the towns I have given you until the Lord gives rest to your brothers as he has to you and they too have taken over the land that the Lord your God is giving them across the Jordan after that each of you may go back to the possession I have given you at that time I commanded Joshua you have seen with your own eyes all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. The Lord will do the same to all the kingdoms over there where you are going. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. At that time I pleaded with the Lord, O Sovereign Lord, you have begun to show to your servant your greatness and your strong hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth who can do the deeds and mighty works you do? Let me go over and see the good land beyond the Jordan, that fine hill country and Lebanon. But because of you, the Lord had, was angry with me and would not listen to me. That is enough, the Lord said. Do not speak to me any more about this matter. Go up to the top of Shepa and look west and north and south and east. Look at the land with your eyes own eyes since you will not since you are not going to cross the Jordan but commission Joshua and encourage and strengthen him for he will lead this people across and will cause them to inherit the land that you that you will see so we stayed in the valley near Beth Peror.